everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome back to more Guardians Crusade. Where we left off previously, we made it to a place called Kel, I want to say, yes. And when we got here, essentially we were blackmailed by the Kellians into helping them because they knew where Baby was and they weren't going to tell us unless we destroyed this little mushroom monster thing that was eating their food in their storage room. But they were afraid that after it was done eating all their shit, it was going to in turn want to eat them because it no longer has anything to eat. So yeah, anyway, we helped them out, we killed the thing, and the elder of Kel opened a little secret passageway. And so now we're going to go in there so hopefully we can find baby and i cannot believe we are level nine and an hour into this game that is crazy i don't feel like we did that much but i suppose we did so yeah i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day so far it is friday the 7th of march and it is about to be 3 p.m i actually had to work this morning so i am feeling a little bit tired and i have to go back in which is <laughs> really not fun, but I'm taking a long lunch break, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. And I get to play video games during my lunch break. I just came home, so searching the jar, it was empty. Maybe we've already looked through all of this, have we, guys? Uh, I wonder if the temperature is always the same down here, says Nahani. Oh, you can take whatever you find in there. Interesting. Thank you very much. All right, a peach potion. Interesting. Oh, well, that does remind me, guys. Off camera, I did try to go back to that storage unit and look to make sure am i missing something is there some kind of item that's hidden in there because my brain is telling me there is definitely something but i couldn't find anything so <laughs> i guess it doesn't really matter too much but yeah anyway as i said my day's been okay it's been kind of long so far but you know that's how it goes it's the work in life for you i am just so happy i get tomorrow off i don't often get weekends uh to myself I did last weekend, which was really, really nice. But I wasn't expecting to get two Saturdays. Oh, this is... It's inevitable. I'm going to have to run into this asshole. But yeah, I don't normally get two weekends in a row off. So the fact that I get tomorrow off is amazing. Like, I'm so happy that I don't have to go in. And the problem is, tonight I have to go back because... I, I don't know like a succinct way of explaining this and I'm sure you guys don't give a shit but basically like our company we do maternity and nursing and I don't know if it was an issue of budget sorry night I don't have time to see all your shit but yes we got a level so we are now level 10 so that is fantastic but basically oh and we got a mind berry oh no we don't have room that really sucks um we can probably get rid of I don't know what the mind berry does. Cures confusion. I mean, are we really going to need that? Guys, do we? Maybe fuck these candy bars. We've got hamburgers. You know what? I'm going to just say let go of the mind berry. It's not important for us to have that. We already have one. And so far, we haven't had any status ailments applied to us. So I'm not going to prioritize these over anything else. And, ooh, treasure. So yeah, anyway, uh, I don't know if it was an issue of budget. We just got... Cool, a living toy called Phoenix. I know, my brain is like all over the place. Like, I'm still kind of in work mode, so you guys have to excuse me. Um, but anyway, I didn't see another path for us. Uh, I guess, let's just keep looking, guys. Maybe we'll, ooh, no, you stupid monster. <laughs> Leave me alone. But yeah, so finishing my, I guess starting my story and finishing it. One section of our company is getting shut down. I'm not sure what the deal is. So a lot of people are losing their jobs. And fortunately, I don't have to worry. Like our specific district or our specific group is fine. Um, I shouldn't say the district because there are a couple of different units that are getting closed within our state. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like crazy. I'm really, really surprised. But I guess that's what happens in a lot of businesses, you know, like if you're not turning a profit and especially in some cases when it seems like your budget is everything. So like, I don't know, like if you have to write a grant or it's all based on investors and you're just not getting that money, you know, something's got to give. Ooh, walk bomb. That's really cool. 
I guess I should be showing you guys these, shouldn't I? I'm sorry, I'm such a scrub. Okay, so we just got Phoenix, which is right here. So it returns all to normal condition. So basically, if we get a status ailment, we can use this thing to cure us. And we got Walk Bomb. And the way that this thing works, because as you can see in the bottom, it's showing us our distance walked is two. I don't think it's in steps, so I'm not sure if it measures it by the game's set of feet or meters or whatever it uses to look at that. But regardless, you go a certain amount of steps or distance, whatever, and it accrues damage or it accrues points which in turn will become damage when you use it in battle against an enemy. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but it's a really, really cool living toy to have. So anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking a lot and you guys are like, we really we just want to see the game and I know. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Even though I guess we are technically in it and great. Great. You gotta love all this shit. Uh, I guess let's just go up here. Oh. It takes you in the same direction. No! Ah, fuck you guys. Thought you had me. But you did not. It's okay. Oh, there's Baby. Let's run back and look in that other area before we go ahead and spark anything. You guys already know how I am. I want to make sure that we... Oh, maybe we did get everything. Interesting. Yet again, I want to make sure we didn't leave a living toy behind and... I mean, it could just be me being paranoid, but I don't know. I don't want to overlook anything. But that, maybe that is it, guys. Like, I don't know. Interesting. I'm glad all these things are afraid of us. We're actually probably okay. Um, and for sure, if you guys, again, notice that I've left anything behind or you suspect <laughs> I've been a scrub and something has been overlooked, just tell me. And I will gladly go back. But I feel like there should be... Maybe that's what I'm looking for? You have too many items. That can't be it. I thought there was another living toy. Let me see what's in this stupid treasure chest, guys. I don't think... Uh, well, whatever. We'll just eat a candy bar. We could always use the boost our HP. And that's the problem. Oh, it's just a candy bar. Well, I don't know. I guess I've lost my fucking mind. But that is the problem when you're trying to go off of your memory. For some reason, I thought we got three living toys in here. But I guess not. Well, one thing I do for sure remember, we will come back to Baby in a second. I missed this during my first LP, and I didn't... Well, okay, I won't give it away. But I ended up seeing that I missed it, and... Motherfucker, more items? Alright, let's see... Uh... I'm just gonna eat another fucking candy bar. Fuck this. Okay. So, let's grab whatever's in here. And we got bronze mail. So, as I was starting to say, I... The last time I did an LP of this, missed that. And I always told myself, I will not forget to get this again. And then, when I played it off-camera by myself, just like a year later, I missed it again. So... <laughs> As I was thinking about what comes next for us, because I have played this game about three times within the last three years, I'd say, I, I mostly remember where all the stuff is, but sometimes my brain might fuck with me. Anyway, we should have everything unless I did miss a living toy. But Nahani says, shh, it's sleeping. How can you sleep in a place like this? <laughs> I don't know if I really need to do the Z, since I guess he's technically snoring, not going zzzz. But what? Are you talking in your sleep? You can't eat anymore. You didn't. Not those eggshells. I've got a bad feeling. Squawk, squawk. <laughs> Even though I guess the thing's not saying squawk. It's probably just squawking. And whoa, that is a crazy looking bird. Well. Looks like we got a fight for us, guys. Okay, so. A gale stork. We will. I guess I should show you guys our living toys. What I did during my first playthrough, and let me know if you guys like the way I did this or if you'd like a different method, but I just waited until towards the end of the game and I had a whole episode just dedicated to showing you guys these living toys. So I might do that again. I mean, obviously I'm going to use the living toys that I think will help me uh, and be advantageous to use during battle, but I might not make it an effort to, oh my god, only 10, are you serious? I might not make it an effort to show everything until we get near the end of the game, and then I'll show you all the living toys. And yeah, it, I think back then, because I was limited and I can only have like 
10 minutes for each episode. It was like three episodes of me showing you guys living toys. So this time, it shouldn't take that long and I should be able to, in one episode, may go on for 15 to like 20 minutes, but I should be able to show you everything. That is probably not good. I need to fucking eat. Or, actually, you know what? Heals party a little. I think Nurse revitalizes us each time we cast her. I'll bring her on a second because I don't remember if she immediately heals you or if after you summon her, you have to wait a turn and then it will heal you. So yeah, we'll see. So there are little things like that, certain mechanics that I don't really remember perfectly, but for the most part, I think I got this. Okay, now we're gonna cast Nurse. So this will answer my question. All right. I really like the living toys though. It's such a unique little, okay good, so she does go immediately after. And she should continue to heal us each time, whereas I believe if you cast Q, oh, okay, just kidding. <laughs> she heals you once and then gets the hell out of here. I guess I should also mention, because I'm sure some of you are wondering, like how long can the living toys stay out with you before they go away? And, okay, before I do this, let me, hmm, paralyze this target, that is not gonna work. Jupiter, light damage, I doubt that'll do anything. Let's use Dark Postal. Wait a minute, does Dark Damage to everybody? Uh, <laughs> guys? And is it wearing a Wario outfit? I don't know if this is what I wanted to do. I may have just fucked myself. But this thing should be light, uh, which is why I figured I'll go ahead and just use a Dark Magic creature or a living toy. I am gonna just fucking use a hamburger. Like, I can't fuck around. But yes, anyway, I assume this bird, the Gale Stork, would be, or have the elements light. Um, so that is why I cast Dark Postle, and oh my god, really, that's it? And okay, so going back to what I was starting to say about the living toys and like how long can they stay in battle with you. Oh, Nahani is casting pixie dust on us. Thanks, Nahani. <laughs> that 10 HP. I mean, every little bit helps. So basically, a living toy can get hit, I believe, three times. They don't actually have health points. So, like, if it gets hit for a certain amount of damage, like, it's not going to make it go away. It just can only get hit three times. So even if those three times it's only getting hit for, like, four damage, it's still going to go away. Um, whereas, it's nice because even if it gets hit for, like, 50, it's going to go away. And, oh, we got a living toy timeout. Maybe that's what I was remembering. We get it from that thing? I don't know. Night, we knocked it out. Let's go. There's no need to kill it. It was just defending its nest. I'm sorry, birdie. We didn't mean to hurt anyone. I think we should get out of here before the bird gets up. There's light coming in from over there. It might be the way out. All right, well, let's get the hell out of here then. Fucking baby. Come on, what are you doing? Hurry up. I mean, we can just fucking pick it up. E groink. You are given a heavy stone. What? You want us to take this stone with us? Bee boo. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's back up. No! That's what we get for waiting so fucking long. We really should have hurried. But yeah, as you guys can see as we are running towards the screen, the chest is like right there to the left of us behind that rock. And yeah, I missed it twice when playing this game and I was like, motherfucker, I cannot miss this again. And I did it, so I'm proud of myself for remembering. Hang on! No! You're too heavy, we're going to fall! Did Nahani really think she could carry us? <laughs> well, that was a bad idea. So essentially, I guess we grabbed onto little tiny Nahani and jumped and fell into the water. So someone named Amos says, do you think they're okay, Martha? Let's go upstairs and take a look, Amos. Whoa, you're up in, you're up already. Oh, my head. Are you okay, young fella? I pulled you out of the river this morning. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you folks float by. Say, how did you fall into the river anyhow? We were in this cave and a huge bird monster and we were running and... Calm down, you folks are safe here. Just take a deep breath and tell me what happened. It all started when... So I'm taking it, Nahani is gonna tell them everything, since Knight won't talk. You're lucky you survived. You wanna go to God's Tower? Sounds awfully dangerous. Oh gosh, <laughs> who the hell is this guy? 
Good morning, or should I say evening? Who was it that carried you here? Me, thank you. I mean, thank me. <laughs> yep, I carried you here after the old man fished you out. Bonic, you could wake the dead with a voice that loud. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. My name is Bonic. If you need anything, I'll be staying in the room next door. <laughs> oh, thank you. I just happened to overhear that you're going to God's Tower. Why would you want to go there? You can't sell anything there. <laughs> is my voice too loud? Ha 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 ha. Yes, I imagine this guy is really obnoxious. When I was a young boy, my mother always said to me, Bonic, you aren't as big as the other boys, so you have to talk louder than everybody else if you want people to notice you. Ha 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 ha. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of planning to do. Okay, well, I wish you good night. Alright, get the hell out of here, Bonic. Are all merchants so obnoxious? That's exactly what I was wondering. Come on, Amos. It's time we got to bed. You're right. Let's get some sleep. Good night, fellas. Night. Let's get some sleep, too. It's been a long day. All right. So, what? You're not tired. I guess not. Let's talk to everyone first, and then we'll sleep. Oh, what a cute kitty cat. What's your name, kitty cat? We'll sleep and rest up, uh, because that is how we will save. And then we will call this a video. Oh, I guess we can't go down the stairs. That's where we would go. Well, let's talk to Bonic and, yeah, see if we can sell some shit. We have so much crap. Well, hello there. Can't sleep? You want to take a look at what I'm selling? Yeah, let's go ahead. Um, oh. What the hell is AFM? Alexander Fire Magnum? Can we buy that? Nope, sorry. This one I have to hold for another customer. Well, then why the fuck is it in your inventory? Anyway, I... You know what, guys? I just don't feel like we need all of this. I wish we weren't so limited. And as I said before, I'm saving all of our extra equipment and weapons for something that you will see shortly. You know what? Fuck this toadstool. I don't care. I'm not very likely going to use an offensive item anyway. So we'll use sell the sick weed too. All right. That's it, and I'm not buying any of your shit. Okay, well then, good night. I don't think I'll be needing this anymore. You can have it. Oh, a hamburger. That's great. You better take this too. You'll need it more than I will. Okay, a cheeseburger. That's fucking awesome. This will come in handy. Take it. A bubble gum? Oh my gosh. You might as well take the rest too. Oh my goodness. Ah, the AFM 324. Ha 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 ha. I'm sorry, this one is already promised to another customer. I can't ruin my good name by breaking my word. You understand. I'll need people to trust me when I open my own store. You're going to God's Tower, right? So you'll be going east through Istin? Maybe I'll see you there. Wouldn't that be fun? I'll buy you dinner if business is good. Well, I've got to get some sleep. I have to start early tomorrow. All right. And it looks like it's making us go to sleep. So we will go ahead and save and then call this a video because we are pretty up on time guys sorry about that so when we come back together on the next episode i guess we will see if bonic is still here we'll talk to amos and martha some more and then it sounds like we have to go east through a place called Istin. so we'll do that too thanks for watching everyone i'm your host rabbit and this is my playthrough of guardians crusade see you in just a sec